Hey Van Enthusiasts, it's Austin. And Jen. And this is our co-pilot Duke. We build custom adventure vans. And in this video, we're gonna give you guys a tour of our personal van. Let's take a look inside. We built the entire van around our garage space. We wanted to be able to house two mountain bikes, two blow up paddle boards, and all of our climbing and camping gear. So we knew how big the space needed to be for the garage and we built everything else around the garage space. It was really important to me to be able to do bike maintenance when I'm out on the trail. So I built this drop down countertop, which holds my tools and other items when I need it. I also put all my tools in a tool roll that I can hang on the back door with these twist clips. We have LED lights on each of the doors to make it easy to see out here at nighttime when we're loading and unloading gear. We have a bike mount that attaches and detaches easily and stows away nicely when not in use. As you can see, we have an outdoor shower, which is perfect for hosing off at the beach, hosing off the dog when he's dirty and muddy, or hosing off the mountain bikes. We also have an air compressor built into the back of the van and a air compressor hose that reaches all four tires of the van. So if we ever get a flat tire on the road, it's easy enough just to pop this thing out and fill up the tires. I also use it to fill up my mountain bike and uh, dirt bike tires. We have a nice little drop down countertop. It's perfect for setting drinks and things on. It's also just big enough for a Coleman camp stove if we feel like doing any cooking outside the van. Um, underneath that, we have this great little storage drawer it's perfect for storing flip-flops and other small items. Next to that, we have this flip-up footstool. This guy is fantastic when you want to sit in the passenger seat when it's leveled around and you can put your feet up, relax. So attached to our main storage bench, we have our lagoon table. This thing is used as an extra prep service when we're cooking. We can sit at our bench, we can eat, we can work at it, and it also reaches the passenger seat when it's swiveled around, so we can also sit and work here as well. One of the other custom features that we did for the van was that Duke always likes to ride up front with us, but of course we wanted it to be safe and secure. So we built a custom dog bench that has a quick release cover on the top that's obviously easy to clean after a long weekend out when he's adventuring and getting dirty. It also has sides built in and an access cubby from the front. This way it can store and hold all of his stuff and we can easily take it out when not in use. You'll note that it's also bolted to the floor. We wanted this to be really secure when we were driving so it was safe for him as well as comfortable. Inside we have our custom kitchen cabinet that we built. This has a Dometic two burner sink stove combo and a folding faucet which tucks out of the way which is really nice. This thing is fantastic. It also has Nice big storage drawers for our trash, our propane, all of our kitchen utensils, as well as our Dometic fridge. So we built our cabinets all the way to the floor to utilize every square inch of storage space. So there's no toe kick area. At the bottom of our cabinet, you can see this mountainscape that we added to protect the drawers when we close it with our feet. Inside of our pantry storage, we ended up putting these customized lifts between everything so that we can really maximize the space by stacking a couple shorter things together and still having room for our taller items instead of losing storage space above the shorter products. Below the pantry, we have two small shelves that we usually use for mine and Austin's. And we keep some of our daily stuff in here. We have our light switch for the cabinet below. And then we have our battery monitor and a USB charging port so we can plug our phones in at night and let them charge. And we have three general lights up top that are on a dimmer switch that can be used when you need a little more brightness or turn them down during the evening. On the end of our upper cabinet, we have a small storage space for toiletries that has a door so you can easily access it when standing in the kitchen space and also has a cutout with bungees to keep everything inside so you have access when you're in the bed. At the front of the van here, we have our overhead storage above the cab. This is great for storing our window covers and other lightweight items. The bungees are great because they keep things from falling out while we're driving. Behind the cabinet, you can see one of our 
insulated window covers. We make these with 3M Thinsulate um, apparel insulation. These things do a really great job of keeping the heat in the van when we're camping in cold weather, and they do a really great job of keeping the heat out of the van when they're up in the sun. So these covers snap into place quick and easy. We kept them black on the window side so that when we're in the van at night in a neighborhood, they're black all the way around. All the windows are black. There's no silver reflectix. It doesn't look like anyone is sleeping inside the van. Underneath this side of the bench, we have two storage cubbies. Underneath the center, we have a cassette toilet that slides out on heavy duty drawer slides so that we can use the cassette toilet in place and slide it back when we're done. This side underneath the bench houses all of our solar components and our house battery. Our S-Bar diesel heater is located underneath the passenger seat and the controller is located right next to the bed. One of the cooler things about this van is that we have a hidden second bed. So if it's super hot out, Duke and I usually sleep up here and Austin can sleep down here. We could sleep a friend if we have another group coming with us. And Austin can also go out with the guys and they can have their own separate beds if they choose. Underneath this hatch, we built a shower pan into the floor so that we can shower inside the van. The shower curtain attaches via these twist locks at the ceiling and at the floor in the shower pan so that when we use the Max Air Vent Fan while showering, the shower curtain stays in place. Building custom window flares allows us to sleep sideways in the van and gives us almost the length of a queen mattress. The flares are also insulated. They're constructed of one inch thick foam core fiberglass. Above the bed, we have a touch light LED for reading at night. The light is also dimmable, which is pretty nice. And then over in the corner, we have a marine fan. This is really nice for moving air around the bed area at night when it's hot out. At the back of the bed, we built a cubby for storing small items and it has nice soft close hinges. We built a lightweight open storage above the bed. This is where we store all of our clothing. We installed an Arctic turn window on the back door of our van. This window is insulated and it pops open easily, which is really great for those warm nights when we run the Max Air vent fan. It draws in cool air and runs it right across the top of the bed and then out the vent. So on the back of the van, we have our custom rear carrier and our ladder. The 8020 allows us to save weight with the overall build and allows us to attach anything we want to the rear carrier and the ladder. On our ladder, we have a spare fork mount if we need to transport a third bike. We can also use it to transport spare fuel or a trash trash bag. So our gray water tank is located underneath the van. The drain comes down from the sink through the floor into the gray water tank and then we have a regular garden hose size fitting on the outlet so that we can run a line away from the van and empty it at a RV dump site or we can empty it in our driveway. Thanks for checking out our van video. You can find us on Instagram at, at copilotvans and copilotvans.com.